Hi and welcome to the video number 5 of this series. This is my first attempt to make the rudder and I use a 1 fourth aluminum row. Then I treat one of the ends and bevel it to attach uh, the servo horn. And this is the complete one. Here you can see the servo horn and the two knocks. Uh, to keep it in place. The router itself is two 3D printed pieces with a steering aluminum row in the inner part and two steel row to reinforce the router. The 3D printed parts are two weak, so I will reinforce it with fiberglass laminating it on the exterior of the router. This is the mold for the dead. I already sanded it and it's prepared with three layers of wax. I am using the approach of making the mold smaller and casting the whole piece. In this case, I'm going to cast the whole deck of the boat. Over here I have two products that I'm going to evaluate to cover the gaps on the mold so the resin will not leak in these gaps. Complete the application of this product it is a modeling clay that I use to cover all these gaps here. Also, I use the hair dryer to make it softer and do all the cleaning after the application. With all this job, the resin will not go inside the gaps. I think the mold is ready to be covered with PVA apply the gel coat and the fiberglass so let's do that part
here is the deck of the boat already cured. It has been 24 hours. And also I trim the fiberglass ends. The next thing to do is to demold it from the mold and check what finish we have achieved. This is the deck finally demolded and I have to work a lot on details. I have bubbles on the resin, also the gel coat peeling off of the mold. Cause I'm using a gel coat with wax and it's not ideal to use on casting pieces. I have to sand and apply a lot of filler. On all these details. And last, also apply primer. I finished putting also the bulkheads and I am happy with the progress so far. I would like to know your opinion guys about the project. Thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to support more content like this. See you on the next video.